Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and I am so excited about today's video. Uh, rarely do we have a new RV come in that we've never covered before, but I think if you're out there in the world looking for this fantastic 2022 Verona 40 VRB, you're going to find it's very, very hard to find any information on this unit and I have a fantastic video in store for you if you're in the market for a really nice, super durable, heavy duty bath and a half model Verona. Uh, again, my name is Katie O'Neill. I'm here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV. I can be reached at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. And in today's video, this is a live video. I come to you live every Monday um, and you can find lots of information down below. If you'd like to click on the link, learn more about this coach, or you can always find us at TTTRV on YouTube, or you can find me at RVs Inside Out as well. Uh, so as usual, Jody, I love to start from the inside out. So take her on back. Uh, so today's video is really cool because you're gonna find an exceedingly roomy bathroom in the rear. Um, lots and lots of private space for parents. Um, a gigantic uh, second bed as well as bunk over cab feature, uh, newly available of course in 2022. Uh, but this is just such a delightful Super C. Uh, one of the things that I really love about this 35 inch radius is that if your husband is being naughty, you can just put him in here, it magnets tight, and then you just put this down and he can't get out. No, I'm just kidding, that's just for safety while you're going down the road. No, but really what's nice about this radius shower is look at how much room I have here. This is such a big area in this uh, shower. There's a nice place I can sit down if I need to shave my legs, wash my feet. I've got that built into this RV. Um, I love this magnet effect. As you can hear, it gets kind of echoey when I have it closed. It also keeps all that nice warm air in on a cold, uh, cold day while you're camping. And there's a little soap dish up here as, long, as well as an adjustable wand. So what's nice about this adjustable wand is I can go ahead and put this high. So if I'm one of those big people, I can actually get the water on top of my head. So really, really cool shower here. And then if you look over here to the left, I know that people uh, don't think about this often, but look at the amount of room around this porcelain toilet. So this is that really nice uh, dual flush. So you have a uh, light flush, so you're not wasting that 75 gallons of gray water that you have. You've got a full wash or full flush as well. And then there's all of this cabinet room back here to keep your toilet paper, all those little things that you use to keep it from stinking up too much, and a gigantic amount of cabinet space back here. I mean, you could really, really take this coach out on the road for the long term because you've got so much storage here in this rear bathroom. And look at the size of this countertop. So it's so nice. You can get all of your toiletries out here. You also have this huge amount of cabinet space down here and even more here as well as look at this room. So if you are a big guy and you want a nice restroom with a bunch of room in it, this is the place you can hang out and it has a fantastic fan right up there above. Um, so really, really nice features by Renegade. Of course, um, plenty of storage again under the sink. And these are just really nice undermount sinks, the solid uh, countertop. Um, there's no ridges here, so super easy to keep clean. I mean, this is just a really, really nice bathroom. Um, so again, this is a VRB. It's one of our more unusual item, or uh, I'm sorry, one of our more unusual RVs. We have uh, two models that are 40 feet. Um, this is 40 feet long, two inches. Uh, this is that 350 uh, horsepower, 1,150 foot pound torque ISL by Cummins with that six speed Allison transmission, 20,000 pound towing capacity. So this is a beast. Um, and when you're out there camping on the road, it's really important that you get a good night's sleep. So if you go into the next room, you're gonna see that we also have an RV size king bed for you. Um, so super, super nice space in this bedroom for a couple, really, really large bed. As you can see, you can get out and you can get out of either side of the bed at, in the evening if you need to use the facilities. There's also two USB ports here, as well as a 110 outlet. And then here you also have a ton of overhead storage space. 
and you will notice that there's a light switch here so you've got control over your reading lights from right here these are adjustable um, but what's nice about this coach is that this light switch here is actually on your phone so I'm going to show you the Firefly app in a little bit um, but it's really really cool because you can actually control everything from a touch of a button inside of your bed and I have the generator on right now so I don't know if you could hear it when I was in the bathroom but if you were using this coach to go camping um, in Arizona for instance during the summertime and you want it to be nice and quiet you can really just get a very very quiet uh, cabin here just by closing this very solid wood door so this spice brandy ca uh, cabinetry is uh, solid maple and I'll tell you there is nothing better than the construction of a renegade Verona nobody in the marketplace uh, and yes I have owned a Verona and I currently own a Numar Superstar so I've definitely had the experience of both the cabinetry made by renegade is second to none super sturdy they don't mess around. You don't get to pick white or, you know, dark or, you know, different colors, but they just make everything so solid. So if you're looking for a really rugged, well-built RV, um, especially in this Super C segment, there's just nothing better than that. Um, the reason I showed you that separation, if you are out snowmobiling, um, of course, this is an all electric coach. So it has hydronic heat. So it's really good in the lower temperatures. If you're out snowmobiling and you've got like long bibs, you can store them here. There's actually closet space for them. And then there's another short wardrobe cabinet here. But I love this, when you, when you open this, you'll see that these little lights just turn on. Um, really, really handy when you close them, they turn off. Where the benefit to that is to me is that when I'm using my Superstar, sometimes I forget to turn off my LED lights. These I don't have to worry about. And then take a look at all of this drawer space. So, so much drawer space here. Um, and this is just the first floor. There's even more. You'll notice these are all, of course, soft clothes. But look at this. Two more gigantic, super long drawers. I mean, you guys are not going to be fighting over who gets the big drawer because there's one for each of you. You can have the kids can each have their own drawer. Um, so we still put a Blu-ray player in here. This is a smart TV, so it's not necessary to have a Blu-ray player. You could just... Um, I installed a Cradle Point 5G on my RV, um, so you could do that. I want to go ahead and close this up. Um, and we do a lot of streaming. Uh, we actually only have an antenna. We don't even have a receiver. We're not going to pay for that service, so there was just no point to it. Oh, and I don't think I showed you this one. Maybe I did. Did I show you that one? Jody says, yeah, you showed him that one, Katie. I just get so excited about storage. Um, emergency exit, of course. Nice solid surface countertop, a few 110 outlets as well. And like I said, you've got them on either side of the bed along with this nice cross ventilation. Uh, USB ports, you've got a total of four around this uh, area, so plenty of room. And then underneath here, what do you guys think you're gonna find? Anyone? All right. Oh, well, hey, don't forget, you guys can like log in and, and guess, but 150 gallons of fresh water. 150 gallons of fresh water. And what's nice about this is we do have uh, 110 volt uh, little strips on our black and gray tanks, but your fresh water is here inside the coach. So that's really, really good. It's not going to go ahead and freeze, and that means you can go out those colder temperatures like I alluded to earlier. So super nice there. Again, another one of these really great solid pocket doors, and this closes on both sides, and then it magnets together right here in the middle. Um, so really, really nice execution by Renegade, if you're wondering how you're to keep it separate. And what's cool about this hallway is right here in this hallway you find your Splendid stackable washer and dryer. And so this is really cool because it's right next to the bed, which is of course the easiest place to fold. Um, but it's also accessible while you're going down the road. So in my bunk model Superstar, I actually have to open the slide to change the laundry over. And we do most of our laundry while we're on the road. Um, when we get to our campsite, of course, we'd rather focus on drinking beer and eating hot dogs. Um, but you know, for those of you that feel like doing laundry, you can always do laundry while you're camping as well. Uh, on that note, Jody, come on in. Let's go ahead and talk about some of these other benefits. So this hallway is as narrow as it's gonna get. Um, one of the major things that people really like about Renegades is the walking space and the living space in the RV when the coach is closed and you're going down the road. And it's something, you know, I was having a conversation with some folks this weekend. If you haven't had that experience, because maybe you've been in a fifth wheel or a bumper pull, um, if you haven't had that experience with having 
all of your kids going on a road trip with you where you can get up and make a sandwich and watch a TV show and, and you know, drink a pop and tell stories and share musical, you know, experiences with each other. You know, it's really, really cool to actually have your whole family together. And if you need to get up and use the restroom, it's so nice to know that you have this half bath in here as well. And again, take a look at the amount of room that you have in this potty. I mean, it is so incredibly cool. Um, you know, again, porcelain toilet, very important when you're out there testing RVs to always make sure that you check the seating room on the throne to make sure it is generous enough to be comfortable. But this mid bath on this uh, Renegade is fantastic. And what's nice about this is once again, Jody, I don't wanna close the door on you, so you're gonna have to be ultra talented as usual. Um, take a look at all of the storage room you have in here. And you've got two GFI grounded 110 outlets right here, and then even more storage here. So you have completely separate areas where you can have your RV toilet paper up here, all the things that you need, and another fantastic fan. So if you're the early riser making coffee in the morning, uh, you have your own space to kind of get up and get ready. Um, and there's just, there's just so much benefit to this coach. Um, on the other side of that bathroom wall, a huge amount of dry storage. So if you're one of those guys who likes to drink out of, you know, beer steins or, you know, you've got your special glasses that you want, uh, we like the kind you can actually freeze. It's kind of cool. Um, or if you just have a whole collection of hot sauces, whatever it is that you might want, there's tons of room up here above the television. And what's so cool about this Samsung TV is, of course, again, 43-inch smart television. You've got a really nice uh, Samsung sound bar. You can sync this to your phone. When you turn it on, it actually has like a digital uh, display that you can see through the mesh. But below that, you see you've got this fireplace. And uh, it's so cool because not only do you have hydronic heat uh, with your uh, 250D, your aqua hot system, um, you also have this electric fireplace. So if you're camping somewhere and it's chilly at night and you want to be able to keep this coach warm and regulated, this is a very quiet way, once again, of heating your coach. So you are gonna have two 15,000 BTU air conditioning units on top of this coach with heat pumps. But when you get down to that 32 to 30 degree temperature, you start to feel like you're not really getting a lot of heat out of that element that's surrounding that air coming through. That's when your hydronic heat comes in. And what that is, is that's a tube of liquid that goes underneath the RV and it's heated with your tankless hot water heater and then air is pushed over that. So that's helping anyone who has a Verona, that's a big differentiation between that product and the Valencia. But the big differentiation between having hydronic heat, which can be run off of AC, uh, one or two, so in other words, you could plug this into your 50 amp and use electric, or you could run it off of your 100 gallon fuel tank and run it off of a diesel burner. Having this aspect available to you as well is really nice because now you've got another form of heat you can bring into the coach that's once again very quiet. Um, so that's really nice not to have those fans running at night uh, if you're trying to keep warm. Um, now next to the big fireplace, you'll see one of my favorite things. It's just this. Simple darn it latches. Like nothing fancy, no handles, lots and lots of room. A huge, huge, very, very simple refrigerator, big drawers, big uh, cabinets on the wall, lots of lots of storage space. Um, just a really nice, really large refrigerator, but is it locked? Yeah, it's locked, you know. Why do you know? Because it turned red. Just like this one I know is open, it's blue. It means I can get into my gigantic uh, freezer down here, uh, equipped also with an ice maker. Um, but when it's closed, I know it's closed. I can look over and I can actually see physically that it is closed. It's not going to come flying open. I don't know if you've ever had a Coke can land on your toe while your boyfriend's making a hard turn, but I promise you one thing, you'll be really happy you have a Verona and it didn't happen because it hurts. Uh, this is one of my favorite cabinets. I love the space above the refrigerator. If we use a lot of cookie trays, uh, we love to have cookies when we're out camping. Of course, we can make these in the high point convection and microwave oven. You can preheat this and set it at, you know, to 350 degrees and bake in it just the same way you could turn it on as a microwave and, you know, warm up some leftovers, maybe make a burrito. Uh, so super, super cool there. Uh, here's your fuse panel. So really easily um, diagram for you. You can read all the different places, figure out, you know, what's going on, troubleshoot things on your own if you like. You've got your little 
uh, boxes both down here so everything is super clearly labeled really easy to see your dryer fireplace air conditioning units and then your fuses are in here uh, but if you don't want to do it on your own here are your renegade customer service numbers and if you decide to buy an RV from TransWest one of the huge benefits that you'll have is we have a gentleman by the name of Bill Habercorn. Um, so after you meet with either Tim Frank or Wade Phoenix and you go through your three hour presentation and your walk while you're here on premise, uh, those guys will show you how to use the whole coach. Um, and then you can camp. You can pull up, plug into 50 amp right outside of our back door. Uh, you'll have your own access point so the dealership, even if it's closed and locked up, you would still be able to access and come and go to your RV freely. Uh, but what's so nice about that is if you need any questions answered after the fact, after you've left, you've got Bill Habercorn. And Bill Habercorn's whole life has been really, to be honest with you, centralized on how to help people who have RVs. He's like a walking encyclopedia. And he can help you uh, with questions that you may have on the road to keep you camping and having fun. He's great at troubleshooting. So you've got Renegade that you can deal with. You've got uh, you know, your Freightliner 800 number. You've got your Freightliner app. And then you also have another great form of support coming directly from TransWest, uh, employed by us to make sure our clients have fantastic experiences. Um, okay, so right here above the high point, we have, of course, another Blu-ray player. Um, you've got your coax access here if you want to, you know, run cable. And then more cabinet storage once again. So tons of space here. This is such a roomy area. And then look at the size of this countertop. Now you'll notice I have my tape measure out and it's not for this purpose solely. Um, this is 76 inches long. I mean, that's just incredible. Um, it's also uh, 26 inches, 25 and a half inches deep. So that's more than you'll find in a typical residential countertop. And then what's really nice about this and what we've elected to do is we've actually taken out one of our covers, we leave it at home and we keep a, a solid wood cutting board here, so we have a built-in cutting board and we don't need to take this with us. But this true induction cooktop has some really nice advantages. One of them is that you could put a paper towel down on this, uh, this countertop and you put your magnetic, uh, you know, if you, can if you can put a magnet to the bottom of your pan, it will tell you that it would work with an induction cooktop. I use an all-clad copper core, but you put it down on here and if you take that pan off, it turns off. It's not left on all day. You don't have to worry about, you know, zapping your battery. Um, you don't have to worry about catching something on fire because you could literally put a paper towel down, put a pot of water on top and boil water on this cooktop without it catching fire. So a huge benefit for those of you that are out there with littles that are going to be in an RV, as you can imagine, this is not something that, you know, you'd want to have an open flame, uh, you know, catching things on fire. So this is a great benefit to you. And on top of it, one of the things I really like about it is you can get super hot, really fast, a very precise temperature. You can set it to 350, you can set it to 450. I mean, you could sear bacon, which is next to impossible if you've got a gas stove. It's incredible at how hot you can get this. And if you wanted to like do some nice searing for tuna fillets or anything along those lines, really precise cooking once again. So love that. Um, we've got, of course, our Fawn Backsplash here. Uh, that's going to be part of our gemstone interior today we are looking at a spiced brandy cabin cabinetry which is the only option and then you've got three interior option colors um, this is the uh the gemstone the gemstone is kind of the middle of uh, the two it's got a little bit darker leather um, but really beautiful and tons again of drawer space here in your kitchen um, for those of you that are looking to have uh, a dishwasher, we can install one for you, but it is not an optional feature on this coach. Uh, one thing that is standard on the Verona that I love, look at the size of this trash can. I have this little tiny dinky trash can in my Superstar. In my Verona, we would keep a gray one for inside, a blue one for recycled, and a black one for outside, so we had them color coded. Stack them inside of each other when we went to camping. We had all of the, um, all the containers that we needed. Super nice. And then there's a ton of storage space underneath here on the left and right side and all behind here. Lots of room for you to have a handheld vac. A uh, central vac is available on our Verona LE. It is not going to be an option here on the Verona. So for those of you that are curious about the differences, um, I do have a really nice video that covers the differences between a Verona LE and a, uh, and a Verona. 
as well as Superstar versus Verona. I have a lot of videos out there and you can find me at RV's Inside Out. I have a whole Super C station. I have a whole Newmar station. I have a Renegade station. I have a Winnebago station. Um, I feel like I have probably hundreds of videos out there at, at this point in time. Um, but really, you know, one of the reasons I bought my Superstar was because I was so enthralled with my Verona. I had to figure out like what the differences were. And I have to tell you, um, in my experience currently, they both have huge uh, feature benefits. Um, and honestly, just get the one you like because it's the style between the two that matters the most. The function between the, the two is really pretty uh, spectacular, to be honest with you. Uh, so I wanted to show this to some people today. So first of all, if you've got a big kid, this is 29 inches deep before I take the cushions off. So really, really deep. If you wanted to not make the bed every time you stop to go camping, like if you wanted just to have a sleeping bag. And then the space here, this is uh, 79 inches across. So if you have someone in your household like me, my 17-year-old, uh, oh, 18 as of the 9th, um, he's really tall, so I can sleep on this really easily, but he actually would fit much better on this than he does on our fold-out. So one of the benefits of the Verona bunk model is that it's got an 80-inch set of bunks, but it doesn't have nearly as much room as this RV does, and it doesn't have a bath and a half. So if you have tall kiddos and you want to be able to have them go camping with you from time to time, this is a great place to sleep, really, really comfortable. And on top of it, it's um, not something that you have to make and unmake every morning. Uh, that's something, you know, when we did our road trip with Stella Rose, that was the only downside was that in the morning time it was like, okay, get up, fold up your blankets, fold up your sheets, put the bed back together, time for us to hit the road. I mean, if you just had a sleeping bag, you wouldn't have to do any of that. And of course, this is a 72 inch wide, um, really, really nice uh, trifold that we have. Oh, also two seat belts underneath. Uh, there's a third one under here, and I've got some other cool things to show you. So this is a really nice bed for most people. So you could also do this, but we have a secret benefit today that you don't get in anything except for uh, this RV. So, and this is a little bit of a Dickens to get out, just so you know. Um, I've done it uh, off camera just so I could get some practice. And that's just where you would store this footrest. Uh, another seat belt under here. But one of the cool things about this RV is that, uh, oh, hold on, I gotta pop this down here. If I pop this guy out, I've got a few different things going on. First of all, I can set this here, like so. You'll notice it's got a little bit of a pitch. Um, you'll also notice that you have these two little eyelets down here. They're gonna catch right here. So what you do is you slide this piece here. My depth perception is definitely feminine. Did I get it? Hold on a second. Hold on a second, everybody. Well, I don't want to do that either. Uh, this is a little tight, so give me just a quick minute. Hello, live television. There we go. So. It is important to get this right. Oh, I see what I'm doing wrong. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna have to do it this way. So I'll show you part two for a second. We'll remove part, there we go. So the reason um, it has to go this way is because I can't show you the other secret trick. Um, so here's what was gonna be part two. We'll make it part one. Look at the size of this bed, holy mackerel. This is huge. This is the biggest bed ever. So Avin is behind the camera. Hi, Avin. He came in, he's like, oh my God, a bed that I can sleep in. And he still had to go sideways, but this is gigantic. Um, so super, super cool feature there. Um, I wanna just measure how much length we have. We are talking 78 inches of bed for somebody who is uh, really tall, or if you've got three littles that you all wanna sleep together, 76 inches uh, this way. So huge amount of room. And then I am gonna show you the other thing I really love about this setup. 
So we can put this couch up, right? Really easy to convert. I'll put this down. Uh, this is just super simple. You just drop it. You just want to make sure you leave this little handle out because this is what you need to use to unlatch it. And then it just drops down like that. But what I really like about this, and what I was trying to show you a minute ago, is I can take this bad boy, slide it in here, and now I have literally the coolest thing ever. I have like a little like recliner, a chaise lounge. So a little extra seating area with a footrest. So this is super, super cool. This is the only RV I know that does this. Um, and when I found that out, I was like, well, that's, that's pretty fancy. So I really like that feature. This comes right off like that. I guess the one answer is that you cannot have, you can't easily put the cushion on unless it's all the way extended. And then here, we're just gonna go up, drop this into place. This folds down like so. And important to make sure you have um, this little latch out so that you can release it. Just goes underneath, slides right into place. And then here you go. Uh, and as you saw earlier, this fits right underneath there. I'm not gonna put it back for just the sake of time today, but nice that you can bring it with you uh, without it really impacting the amount of storage you have on your RV. So that's kind of cool. So now this is all back in. Above us, we have 12 feet, like no kidding, 12 feet of huge storage space. I mean, just huge. So for those of you that know uh, my videos, you know that I like to use the uh, shoe boxes that are labeled in alphabetical order. I might have outdoor kitchen supplies. I might have flashlights, I might have batteries, but I just put one after the other. They're all in alphabetical order. This is so much space. Again, 12 feet of space up here. And if you need to know how wide these openings are, because you're trying to provision for when you take this one camping, by the way, call me if you're interested. 16 inches across for the opening, and then their depth, we're looking at just over 17 inches deep. So great, great room. I'll close all these up. Um, as you know, we have really nice windows. I love the fact that these look like they slide, but they actually just pop. So you don't have to worry about rain coming in. And then you also have your day shades and your night shades. So super simple operation. Again, this is the gemstone. Um, the sandstone is gonna be a little lighter uh, in terms of the color of the couch. And if you want to know what color it is, it's not gray, it's taupe. So that's like a lot of people look, what color is that? It's taupe. Okay, we've never seen this before. Um, I did have Avin bring one of the chairs in. This is convertible. You'll see the other one outside. So these just go in the bays outside. Uh, you can make this, uh, oh, hold on, unlock. You can make this table um, longer if you're strong or smart, I don't know which one, or both. Maybe you need to be both strong and smart. Holy mackerel. Okay, I swear, I did it like two days ago, so I know I'm, oh, you know what it is? I forgot, you have to pull. It's just a pull, it's not a twist. Okay, so you can make this longer. Uh, these are belted in right now, these chairs are belted in for uh, transportation. See, there it goes, it clicks. So these are belted in, so they won't tip. But behind them, you have huge storage as well. So a ton of storage. And I love this buffet because if you're working from the road, you could literally have your computer monitor set up here. You could have your laptop. You could even have a printer. Um, let me go ahead and just pull this. I wanna show you all the space underneath here. So you could have your laptop all set up. You've got a ton of place for office supplies. Um, and then you can even have like all of your paper files, things along those lines. So if you're working from the road, this could be great for you. If you're not, and you just have like a lot of stuff. Uh, I don't know, placemats, doilies, things like that. You could do that. It does come with four chairs. Um, and then we haven't even talked about one of the coolest 
uh, you know, advent or advents of Renegade. This has got the pins in it, so I'm not going to pull it all the way out. But this bed, uh, this bunk above, a bunk, bunk above cab is so incredibly nice. And what's cool about it is it gives you a place where if you're somewhere where you don't want to put your slides out and you just want to catch some quick shut eye, you can just pop up there. There's so much room. Now you could take the mattresses out. You could use it for storage, you know, um, so that would be awesome and really cool as well. Uh, there's a whole bunch of different things that you could use. But if you have grandkids, they're going to be fighting over this area because this area has a pocket for them to keep all their stuff. They've got a place they can plug their phone and charge it. They've got their own television. And then there's a, there's a curtain that goes all the way across. And then in terms of room, I don't want to hit the... So all the way to the wall, we are talking about uh, 60 inches across. So maybe 58 or so of it being sleeping. Um, again, this, this does come all the way out to this edge, uh, but super comfortable mattress or just storage for any of the stuff that you might have. And of course, there's that ladder. And I do want to show you how to put the, um, or what it looks like with the shade drawn. And of course, we can black out everything. Searching. Here we go. Yes. Uh-oh. See, I told you guys I was trying to get this to um, sync before I got live on TV, but it's going to make me sign in. Here we go. Authenticate. You can show this, Jody, if you want. So what I'm, what I'm doing right now is, so here's the window shade. I can just hold the extend button down and I can close that shade. The other thing I can do is I can take this and say, I want to retract the front slide. And so I can just push and hold this button. Maybe. Hmm, front slide, oh. Hmm. Should be, oh, there we go. This wasn't holding it long enough. So I'm able to retract this using my phone. Now, of course, I've got all the controls in this uh, RV on the Firefly system. So the fact that I'm using my phone to do this from the inside is really insignificant. But where it is significant is if I was pulling up late at night to go camping and I wanted to be able to make sure I wasn't going to run into a tree, being able to use my phone from outside of the vehicle to close my slide would be, or to open my slide would be really, really convenient. Um, like again, I also mentioned to you earlier that we've got a bunch of different controls. So I just use that to control the slide. But right now, now that we're done with the video, um, I do have three 170 watt solar panels on top. So I've got about 100 or 525 watts of solar. But right now what I can do is I can go ahead and stop my generator. I just turned it off. I could turn it on. So if, let's say I'm driving down the road and I'm like, hey honey, you really need to get on that laundry. It's time for you to start a little of wash. I could just go onto my phone, push start on my generator, have my boyfriend start a load of laundry. Um, if I wanted my daughter to make me a sandwich, this is the amount of room you have in this coach. I mean, this is an incredible amount of space. And as I mentioned earlier, when you're going back to this restroom, this is how much room you have to get into this bathroom. So for those of you that are looking for something that's going to travel down the road with a ton of room and a lot of function and a bunch of sleeping areas, this is really your coach. Uh, so we've got a total of five seat belts, uh, three here in the couch. If you were to opt for the booth, you'd have an additional two. Uh, so you could have up to seven seat belts in this RV. But I really think it's quite amazing the amount of space in this RV. Now let's go ahead and move to the front now that we've got the slide pulled in. And we're going to talk a little bit about, first of all, one of the nice features about this is that you have plenty of room to get in and out of the cockpit when you have the bed out of the way. Um, Jody, if you'll show down, uh, one of the benefits with the Superstar is that you've got a flush entry into the cab area. To be honest with you, um, it's really not a big deal. There's plenty of things to hold on to if you need. Um, but if it's an issue for you, you can spend more money and I can get you a nice flush entry. Uh, Garmin touchscreen, navigation, parking brake. Uh, your Wabco system is going to be your active cruise control. This is your tire pressure monitoring system. Um, you've got, you know, nice rear view backup cameras. You've got, you know, power locks, power windows, uh, dual stage engine brake, which is super handy, really important to have. 
Again, we've talked about the Allison transmission. Uh, you can lock up that rear diff if you wanted to get a little bit better traction. If you were, you know, somewhere where it was slippery or sandy and you were pu pulling a 20,000 pound uh, trailer, which of course you could do on this. Uh, and then of course you've got our cruise control over here. Uh, we have heated mirrors that are power adjustable right here as well. Um, as you can see, they're really big, uh, very nice chrome convex mirrors. And then, oh, we have to, got your air horn. Um, just good, you know, someone put in one of my videos, it's really important to have an air horn for when you're backing up. And I was like, or if I'm going to try to run you over. I mean, whatever. But yeah, no, <laughs> big air horn. Um, nice drink, drink holders here. Uh, this is a great place for a Cobra system. We do have your, you'll see it when we get outside, we've got your antenna mounted. Oh, did you hear that? That's the lane tracking package. Um, so everything here on your navigation system is really simple to operate, run by Garmin. Uh, really nice touchscreen interface, very uh, user friendly. Oops, let's go ahead, there we go, menu. Um, so you can have all of your uh, stuff, you know, whether you're by yourself or you're with a partner, everything is really easy to get to, um, really easy to use. And of course you put in the parameters, uh, the weight, the length, the height, all of those things uh, in, of your RV into the system so that it will help you uh, to navigate that you are not, oh, I don't want to do that. that, you are not going to go under an overpass that's too low or over a bridge that can't support your weight. So super simple system here. Um, air ride seats, uh, both of these have armrests. That's a big deal. They're adjustable. There's a little thing you spin so you can change the height of them. Um, so you can make them more tilted, you know, whatever you need to do. And that's on both sides. These are both heated. That's a standard feature. Uh, the curtain comes around this track here. And so people ask me all the time what we use. We actually don't use our curtain very much. We use heat shields. Um, so it's basically made for freight liners because this is such a major, um, you know, heavily used chassis. The M2106, of course, is all over the road. Uh, Heat Shields is the company that we've chosen, but they build these Mylar foam uh, reflecting uh, inserts that we put into our windows. And not only do they keep the light out, but they actually reflect the heat back out so it doesn't have a chance to come into the coach. Um, okay, 100-gallon fuel capacity, we talked about that. Um, I'll show you the six gallon def tank in a few minutes. Um, we talked about the washer and dryer stack, 75 gallons of gray and black water, 150 gallons of fresh water. Um, height, 12 feet, 10 inches tall for those of you who'd like to know. And then I think the next thing I'd like to do is I want to go take you outside and kind of show you around the exterior of the vehicle. Um, we have a lot of guys here that are super talented. Um, you know, so shout out to Brian Moritz and Mark Love. Uh, you guys are like top of the heap for me in terms of, I watch your videos to learn stuff. So if you aren't getting what you need in a video on uh, our website, like if you come into my video and go, God, this girl makes me crazy. She's loud, she talks too much. I got a lot of information to transfer to you and I got a lot of people who appreciate that. But if you don't and it's not right for you, I've got other guys here. You really should tune in, tune in to TTTRV and look for the information you're trying to get because in this marketplace, you know, so you might luck into a coach like this that's actually available, but if you don't and you want to see one and you don't have a chance to actually come in and test drive it, this is our best way of getting this information out to you so that you can see what's available. Um, so just one more little storage space before we head down the stairs. And then on the right hand side, I just want to point out here we have our equalizer leveling system. Um, one of the things that's really nice about this is this morning when I got into the coach, it was beeping at me because the, the, uh, the jacks had actually dropped a little bit. So it wanted me to push the all retract button to bring them up, but it makes this sound so you know not to take off and to damage your coach. Um, another nice thing here is you've got a great handle for entry into these steps. And then this little vent here is where that hydronic uh, heat is going to have the air coming out and blowing over. But you'll notice you also have your house disconnect. Uh, you've got your step override and then you've got your e-start which is just going to give you like a little bit of a boost but i love these like little nice touches that they have where you just have these great little courtesy lights on either side and these steps go all the way down to the ground and when jody comes out he'll show you that underneath each one of these steps is a great place to keep like flip-flops and slippers and things like that so that you don't get dirt inside of your rv So this coach uh, was ordered and has been invoiced without the American racing wheels. 
I don't know if they're just standard now, but if you are lucky enough to pick this up, you get a free set of American racing wheels because they're not on the invoice. Uh, this is uh, a really good example of your marriage of that, uh, that L9 or that um, 8.9 liter Cummins to the Freightliner chassis. Everything here in red is gonna be your Cummins engine. And as you can see, you know, your air filters, your windshield washer fluid, all of this is really easy to access. So a lot of people who uh, look at Renegade do it because they might want to service their own vehicle. I have zero interest in that. Um, for those of you that ask me, is it easier to get service on a Super C versus a Class A? Uh, the one benefit I would say that you have is if you were to call up a Freightliner store and say, hey, I've got a RV to bring in for service, they might not take you in as quickly as if you said, I have a semi truck. Um, so this is a semi truck uh, from this standpoint. And people who are using semi trucks are typically going cross country in the uh, efforts of you know, delivering produce and goods to people. So they do have different standards in terms of how long it will take to get in for service. So that's a really nice benefit, I would say. Um, you've got your great HID lights up here, so really nice, bright, super clear lights. Of course, our plastics these days are very, very much enhanced, as you can see. Um, plenty of prowess going down the road. Here's your side, uh, side camera. So when you turn your left turn signal on or your right turn signal on, you will have those turn on automatically. Um, I wanted to show also so once again, this is a semi truck. So one of the things that's really cool about it is there's handles all over the place because as you can imagine, not to say that the semi truck driving community is all out of shape, but there's a few guys that might be a little heavier for driving back and forth up and down those freeways and they need some help getting in. And this coach has got tons of different handles to get you in and out of it safely. So you have a really, really easy time entering and exiting this vehicle. Um, as mentioned, these are air ride seats, so very, very comfortable. And then here on the left hand side, you have your diesel fuel on the left. So you can fill your diesel on both sides of this. These are saddle tanks. Uh, there's two 50 gallon saddle tanks for a total of 100 gallons of fuel. And your hydronic system will operate on those as long as you're not too low. But it's really important. I always tell people when you go camping, if you're going to use your hydronic system for heat or for hot water, make sure you fill up your diesel tanks because this coach would sooner allow you to escape paradise than to let you get stranded and be warm. So um, that safety system is set up to keep you from, uh, you know, from getting stuck. Um, I get a lot of folks that ask me about downsizing this adapter. So we have uh, the ball that goes on the back. As you can see, there's two different sizes uh, that they give you. Um, it's a three inch hitch, so it is big, uh, but you can adapt that down to a two inch. Um, that, that ball setup comes standard with the RV. Another exterior TV, oh, let's see if I can get this done. Yeah, let's do it. Awnings. So I love this awning system. It has LED lights on it. Oops, I pushed a button with my hand. Sorry about that, folks. Let me get back to that little awning. Um, so I loved our awning. One of the things that we use out here is we use a uh, Outlander fire pit. And the reason we would use the Outlander fire pit was because here in Colorado, there's a ton of fire bands. And what we figured out though, is that we could actually set our awning out, put our, uh, they have those cool RV rugs that come out. They're made out of plastic. They're woven plastic. Uh, we could actually put our fire pit out in the middle of our rug, set up our chairs, have our TV, put out our awning. And we had this great exterior living room just instantaneously. So really, really comfortable. And if we put our Outlander out on top of our uh, RV mattress or RV carpet, what was nice about it is that we didn't have to worry about getting um, getting dirty. It wasn't all dusty under our feet. So super cool setup out here. Um, just really, really nice living room if you're looking for that kind of area. Uh, we would probably spend more time listening to music than we would be watching uh, TV. But if like, a game was on, you know, boyfriend's a big IU fan, so go Hoosiers. Um, but yeah, so you know, that's just cool. This is a really nice bay. This bay has, uh, as you can see, like a little grommet here. So if you wanted to be able to run something uh, out of this, you know, these two 110 outlets and you wanted to run power down through the floor here, you could do that. 
Um, the airline is going to be long enough to allow you to fill all of your tires. So for those of you that are wondering, um, one of the things that's super nice about the construction of this Renegade is the way that they have these doors set up. So you've got these dual latch. Here's that chair folded up. I just wanted to kind of have that out here to show people um, how they had stored them when they came to us. Um, I probably would not bring those chairs because they would look really cool around our poker table in the garage. A and B, they're kind of cumbersome. I might take something a little more convertible. Um, and we usually eat outside anyhow. Uh, here is the ottoman. So as I showed you earlier, you're able to have that kick rust out or that, that foot rust out, so you don't necessarily need this. Um, the interesting thing for those of you that have ordered RVs uh, through Renegade, don't be surprised when you get a 19 by 19 ottoman and it's tiny. If you are ordering a new Renegade and you want to have a full length ottoman like you used to have, you're going to have to order two of them. Um, so they're coming separate. That's how the superstars come. Uh, they come as a pair, but it's important to understand that $420 option is 119 by 19 ottoman. It's 840 for two. This is a great place for an Outlander fire pit. Great place. And then one of the things we talked about earlier is um, being able to use your phone outside. So uh, this is the ingot paint scheme on the outside. But like I mentioned, one of the nicest features about this is that I am in my phone app right here. I could start my generator. I could check my tank levels. I can run my slide operations. I can turn my lights on and off. It's really, really cool. Um, so this fiberglass end cap is certainly worth mention. Um, as you'll notice, there's a seam right here. That is because this is a separate portion to this. Uh, what's nice about that is, of course, you've got these really beautiful integrated LED lights and all of this great fancy trim work. Uh, you don't have to replace all of that if you get rear-ended because, well, first of all, that thing's going to jack someone up. If anyone decides to run into the back of you and they hit this first, that is going to hurt. But if they seem to make past that uh, initial stop and they do damage to your bumper, you can replace just your bumper. Um, of course, you've got your seven pin connector, your Voyager camera system is all ready to rock and roll right here. Um, this coach does come standard with a nice air brake, so this, the brake line's already pre-wired for you. Um, you have to add that with some of the other manufacturers. Uh, here in the back, we have a power cord uh, reel. So this is gonna have a 36 inch 50 amp power cord. The button's right over here on the right. As you can see, there's another grommet where it can go through and run in so you're plugged into your campsite. You can keep your door shut so you're not getting moisture inside there. And it also comes in with a 30 amp adapter, which is nice. Uh, here is your eight kilowatt or 8,000 watt Onan quiet diesel generator. As I mentioned earlier, I was running this um, and that's really because of the microwave and a few other things won't work. Your, your washer and dryer uh, those have to have uh, power going to them, but with a 100 gallon fuel capacity, an eight kilowatt generator paired with your solar system, I mean, you really have a ton of juice available on this coach. Uh, so you could very easily go boondocking in the desert and on those hot days have plenty of uh, power to be able to turn your air conditioning on. Um, I know we talked about those American racing wheels, but don't those look nice? Uh, so <laughs> if they're not on your coach, we can add them. We actually carry them in our parts department. Um, I love the way that this whole entire thing is engraved. So super cool water bay here. As you can see, very easy to operate. It does have a, um, a power hose reel as well. So nice feature, great place to keep all your poop right here. So you got your black water and gray water tanks. As I mentioned, these do have uh, 110 uh, heat tape on them, so these will not freeze. Uh, well, I shouldn't say that. There's going to be a level at which you can freeze anything. But um, for those of you who are camping here in Colorado, this is probably the most popular RV uh, in this segment for people who go snowmobiling a lot. This is a great snowmobiling coach. Um, here's your Aquahot 250D. Uh, for those of you who tuned in in the past, please note that if you tell me that you've watched this video, I will give you a gallon of the aqua hot juice. Um, it's really important to have this. If your hydronic fluid is too low, your heating system does not work, whether it be your furnace or your hot water. So very important in an all electric coach to make sure you have plenty of hydronic fluid. 
if you aren't getting that service from your uh, sales associate where you're looking to buy your RV, it's a great reason to come see me. Free aqua hot juice. Uh, another nice storage compartment. So just, you know, really good use and efficient uh, use of all of the space on this RV. Uh, no, there is no pass through bays. Of course, that's because you've got that drive shaft going all the way down the center, but man, they have a lot of storage in this RV. Um, and then here you'll see, these are just regular AGM batteries. You're more than welcome to upgrade them. Um, in my experience, the two years that we owned our Renegade, we had the same solar setup on top, the 300 AGM, uh, there are 300 amp hours of battery power, and we would run our generator for about an hour and a half at night to top it off, and that would keep our refrigerator going all night. We'd have access to be able to charge our cell phones, and then of course the next day when the sun came up, we would you know, have plenty of juice coming in. And we also had that uh, auto gen start, so if we got too low, it would kick on, but really we never had an issue uh, with enough storage. Um, there is a lithium ion battery upgrade available for this coach. It just depends on your school of thought. Um, Numar does not do that. I have all AGMs on my Superstar as well. We're fine with it, but you can go either way. Um, another fueling tank, again, six gallons of DEF right here. Plug in your, uh, your engine block heater. Uh, that would be really important to know. If you don't know to plug in your engine block heater when it's really cold, it will uh, actually set a fault code to which you will go ahead and drive into Freightliner. They will reset that fault code for you and charge you $120. Or you can just go ahead and keep that engine warm on a cold night before you take off the next morning. I just wanted to kind of show you inside here, once again, really easy access points, handles the whole way through. Uh, really, really nice uh, setup um, for your cab and for anyone out there doing long distance driving. Um, again, this is stock number 5N210512. Uh, this is a Renegade Verona 40 VRB. Really hard coach to come into. Um, so for you who are watching this video, uh, the McKinney's are probably not going to take this coach. Um, I'm going to send the video out. I really hope that it goes home to them. Uh, but tomorrow morning at about 9 o'clock, we'll have a solid answer on, you, on that for you. If you are uh, watching Darren, let her have it. She'll love it. Happy wife, happy life. Um, and if we can't get you this one, you guys, we'll order another one for you. Um, I know stuff comes up in life. But that being said, uh, put up a backup deposit because this could be yours like literally right before camping season starts. And they ordered it in May. So it does take some time to get a custom ordered coach like this in, but it does happen. Um, I do a lot of them. I do a lot of them. If you watch my videos, almost all of them are sold. Uh, my name's Katie O'Neill. I'm here at TransWest Truck Trailer RV. You can reach me at 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. Uh, yeah, please let me know if this is something you'd like to put a backup deposit on, or if you just want to order something for yourself in the future, I would love to get you out on the road and camping. It's such a fun job. Uh, again, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next Monday.